What up, YouTube? Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing, back for another video today. And today is the big day. We're racing at the Red List. Let's go. Yes, today we got a big race out at the Red List, El Famoso Raceway. Uh, my shop, Full Blown Performance, is sponsoring it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna have all the cars from the shop out there. Uh, but first, I wanna show you some last minute adjustments, including a racing battery, uh, a belt tensioner, and some front skinnies, so let's go. All right, guys, so we have already thrown the battery in the red eye, but I actually have another one right here that we're gonna throw in the charger, so. Um, the one we threw in there was the anti-gravity ATX 20 HD. Make sure you get the HD if you've got a beefy car because the uh, ATX 20 only has 780 cranking amps and the HD actually has 900. So on the box it actually says 780. Um, I don't know if they use the same box or not, but uh, it says HD on this box. I think they just messed up and forgot to put 900 cranking amps, which is directly on the battery. So um, let's show you the old battery. And this thing is absolutely massive. Oh, <laughs> it is so heavy. Let's weigh it up. 52.2 pounds. Okay. Now we'll uh, let that go back to zero. There you go, 4.4 .4 pounds <laughs> with the wrapping on it. So that's uh, an awesome weight savings right over the rear axle. Um, so that's one reason to do it. Another reason is the stock battery just dies so quickly. I think I've had the charger die in like three or four days and the red eye has died in five days. Um, but I just really am not a fan of the stock battery. So this one's supposed to last a little longer. I know it's tiny, but uh, we got some great weight savings and it'll crank up the, uh, the engine even after a week or two. So love that. Now on to the next <laughs> awesome mod for today. We got skinnies for the front of the red eye. Just came in today. Gotta thank uh, Summit Racing for getting the stuff here super quick. If you guys ever need anything and you need it quickly, you want great service, Summit Racing is awesome. I've bought, I've bought. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> I bought quite a few things from them. Um, so yeah, check out my my front, 18 by five, so we can still have those big ass Brembos in the front because uh, I didn't want to do the 15 in the front. I love my big brakes, so uh, check out these race stars. Awesome product. I went with the little crazy design. Um, it's gonna be pretty similar to my back wheels, which are S77s, which are still coming in, but uh, yeah, these are awesome, and we got the M and H front runners. So, uh, 185 50R 18s. These are about 10 pounds lighter in total. If you then if you get the uh, Mickey Thompson versions. Now, um, if you get the Mickey Thompson versions, you're gonna be able to drive them on the street pretty much wherever. Um, not crazy turns around corners, but. Uh, I'm going to just use my my wheels that I already have on there when I'm driving on the street. When I go to the track, I'm going to put these on so I can have the best weight savings and we'll get the best time. So um, let's go down to the car and I'll show you one more thing. All right, guys. We just went to the shop. Got our race stars mounted up. Much lighter than the ones that we're running right now. So I can't wait to see what times this thing can do with that. And then I'll show you one more thing that we messed with the other day because I was actually getting some belt slip. So let's pop this bad boy open. So if you guys can see this, this dirt right here, that's from the belt that was slipping. Now, when you saw it the other day, we did not have this. Ooh, babe is hot. 
But uh, yeah, we threw that Ripatune tensioner on there. Uh, so now this belt is nice and tight and there is no belt slip. Um, it's actually good to see. We cleaned this area off, so if that was black again, we'd still be having some belt slip. Um, but it was a little tough to get it in there with the catch can. So we actually had to shave the back half of the catch can on there because it uses the same bolt to mount up to. So we had to shave the back half of that not me, but uh, the shop did it for me, which was awesome. Um, and then put the, the tensioner in there. We actually had to throw a longer belt. So initially we we're gonna throw a shorter belt to have more tension, but because you throw the tensioner in there, you actually need a little bit longer belt. So um, that's what we're going with right now. So uh, those are some improvements we've made over last week. We got a tensioner, we're gonna have a 50 pound lighter battery and we're gonna have not sure on the weight we'll, we'll weigh up the uh, stock tires um, and show you what the weight savings are on that but um, yeah have a little more tension on the belt and a little lighter so we're gonna go to that uh, go to that race over at the red list and see what she can do We've gotta run some nines <laughs> y'all made it out to the red list we got the squad out here we got all these full-blown stickers uh, scab pack scab pack durango scab pack squad <laughs> we're gonna throw some uh red eye racing stickers on my lovely girlfriend helping me out oh yeah dude check it gotta rep the brand let's go get that free advertising in you know we got Escobar over here up on the trailer he's gonna seriously break some hearts today but uh yeah let's go guys my guy Birdo over here about to put the skinnies on the front let's go <laughs> hooking it up with some spacers so they don't look ridiculous in there can't wait About to happen first pass we hit that 10 1 60 foot time of 1 5 so still a lot of room for improvement we spun a ton um, we lowered the back suspension a little bit and we also took some more air out so we're going to try to burn out a little harder and uh... <laughs> my girlfriend's texting me right now I see you with them halos <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's uh, get this second pass, boys.
nods, baby. Give me them nods. Come on, we gotta have that nod. guys we're so close 10.013 143 miles an hour shit we are so close next pass we're hitting it it's been a little bit of a crazy night here we've had quite a few spills we had alex's car spill coolant everywhere or antifreeze um we had a biker spill oil everywhere we had some guy just go into the wall now they closed down one of these lanes so we're only getting three runs in tonight, but uh, we're so close to those nines, guys. Let's see what we can do on this run. Have a good night. All right, my girlfriend texted me, fuck yeah, baby. What does that mean? 9942, bitch! Woo! We in those nines, finally. <laughs> we did it! Obviously still have some work to do, but man, I'm figuring this launch out. As soon as I figure this launch out, baby, I'll be running nine eights, nine sevens, somewhere in there, but man, that one felt good. Gotta give a shout out to my boys at Full Blown, as always. Give me dialed in. Fucking Birdo, Eduardo, Alex, Mel. You guys are the shit. We did that. We're in the nines now. It's nothing. It's nothing. We're gonna keep building it on the safe tune. In the nines on the safe tune, baby. Let's go. 